All right. The first thing we want to do, find out if any of these spell books are spell books of identify, because that makes things a lot more useful. Okay, first, um, drop the stuff we don't need. You know, I should probably name this uh, thing life-saving. I mean, I know I'm wearing a life-saving, but if we encounter any more, I'll be able to do it, because I probably won't remember that's what pyramidal amulet is. Don't really need scrolls of light. How many things? Yeah, we still got a lot of stuff we gotta get rid of. Wow, wait, why am I still carrying this homunculus corpse? I don't need it. At this stage, of, at this point, I don't think we really need the Wand of Cancellation, so I'll be uh, dropping it. That way I can be feel a little more secure about putting things into my bag of holding. At least the wands. I don't think I need the bugle anymore. We'll just drop that into the polypile uh, stack. Wait, I... Oh, wow, I have, I have another amulet called life, of life-saving. That's actually very useful. See what I said? Because I didn't name it that, I didn't realize... Oh, the pyramidal amulet, that is... I mean, of life savings. Speaking of which, I can uh, get rid of these. It might turn into more useful amulets when I eventually polypile it. We need to get rid of uh, the stuff that we want. Oh, by the way, great thing. When you're flying, you might notice you can go downstairs while you're uh, uh, burdened. Like, I mean, it's just so phenomenally useful. It's why I spend a wish on a uh, keyring. It's just... Even if it's just the convenience, it's so convenient. By the way, if it, Amulet of Life Saving is cursed, it still works perfectly. Oh, and we've got the robe. That's very useful. I totally forgot about picking that fact we picked that up. Robes make your spellcasting uh, much easier. Okay, what do we not need? Let's, uh, see these. Alright, so we know one of them is blessed, that's something. Ooh, a blessed scroll of identify, that's good. Um, well that was the one that we actually really cared about figuring out if it was... Uh, blessed or not, so, um, I don't know. Let's just figure out the rest of them, I guess. Oh, sorry. Search. Okay, because I knew there was one there. There's always one there. Yeah, we'll pick it up later. Okay, so, now let's get rid of the stuff we don't need identified. Okay. What else? We can just drop this here. I'll just drop this here, probably won't need them. What do I have here that I might want? Oh, we've got the spell books, that's true. But Anne. I'm not sure how many of these things we can actually carry. Alright, so first let's get all the spell books. Well, first this blessed one doesn't matter, because if it's blessed, we can always learn it. Well, that was kind of not useful. What else can we get that might want to identify? Ah, uh, that's not much. Hmm... Now we gotta drop, get rid of some more stuff that we don't need to identify. Now oh, there's so many things I want to though. I want to know how many charges are on all of these uh, wands. I guess I can put away the unicorn horn, but then I don't trust myself to remember to get it back. 
I guess we can drop the uh, mirror. When we get the magic mirror of Merlin, we're not going to need one. Okay, we're just going to get to... You really want to know these spell. Okay, I just realized it doesn't matter. Most of these things don't matter. We just want the spell books because that's the whole point. Is it a spell book of identify? So let's uh, get the scrolls put away. All right, that should be all of them. Let's read and see. Okay. Come on, do all of them, please. Just save me the trouble. Ugh. Yes! Oh, wow, that's so lucky. All right. Well, let's, uh, first we gotta get the, um... This, dip it to make it 100% sure we'll get it. Identify, which we can't cast right now. Not the greatest thing right now, but... Uh, do I still have my leather gloves? Why don't I have my leather gloves? Man, I could actually use those. Okay. Hmm. How many... Uh, how many, uh, let's see, I think we got three wishes left. Now we need to figure out what to wish for. Do I go for the Scepter of Might or the Meter of Holiness? I wish for Scepter of Might, I'll get a regular Helm of Brilliance. Got three wishes. I feel like there's something else I want to wish for, though. This is tricky. Because if we, if we get our intelligence higher enough, we can read these spell books without worrying about not doing it, uh, right? Hmm. I, I mean, without a uh, chance of failure, we won't have to uh, bless them. Wait, whatever happened to those other um ones we uh, had? The uh, like the spell book of Force Bolt. I think I left you in Mind Town. Mind Town. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm probably boring you right now, so let's try to figure out what we want to do here. I think we're going to wish for the Scepter of Might. Toggleable Conflict, I just like that a little too much. Okay, let's um get that a Wand of Wishing out. Wand of Wishing, where are... Yeah, you're in the wands. Okay. Blessed, fixed, priest, plus one, scepter of might. If you wish for plus one, you're guaranteed to get it. If you wish for plus two or plus three, you have a lower chance. But people usually suggest plus two or plus three, because on average, you'll be ending up with something better than if you just wish for plus one. Because I'm never going to be uh, wielding this... Uh, it's not really an issue for me. Oh, dang. Oh, no. It... That means we must... There must have been an artifact that we didn't see. Because if that happens, that means it's a failed wish. Because, like I said, the artifact only has a chance of happening. That's not good. Now we just used up one of our wishes on nothing. Well, we were going to wish for the Helm of Brilliance anyway. All right, let's see. Yes, that looks about right. Don't... Wait, I do want to wear that. What I don't want is the... this. Let's hope we got that enchantment. We did! Plus three Helm of Brilliance. Awesome. Now what? Hmm... Alright, so what's our chances? Well, they're a little better now. I think... I know this is a bit of a cop-out, but we're going to, um... worry about all these spellbooks a little bit later. 
Because right now, what we need to worry about is Ixoth. I want to get that Magic Mirror of Merlin, because then I'll have Magic Resistance, and I can stop wearing this Cloak of Magic Resistance, can wear the robe that I really prefer to be wearing right now. Okay, what can we get rid of? I guess we don't really need some of these. Uh, let's uh, just ditch the ones we don't need to uh, lighten things up a bit. Gotta be something really heavy that we can get rid of. Well, I mean, I guess there is the coins. I don't know, the saber is uh, more heavy than I'm giving them credit for, is that it? Guess we can get rid of the tripration. We are not going to be eating this. Wait, I actually wanted the tin. It might have been something we wanted to eat. In fact, why not eat it? Yeah, no. I feel Gremlins had had something it could do, but I can't remember. Was it some? Was it something bad it could do, or am I thinking of Quantum Mechanic? Let's see. Uh, they are, they're poisonous to eat, and they have a chance of giving you, uh, poison resistance. That's all I think it really has. No. Gremlins, when they attack, you can, uh, get rid of your intrinsics, but, uh, it's a low chance, and even lower if you've got magic cancellation. So, um, let's see. Oh boy, this is probably really boring to watch. Just trying to get this, uh, weight down. Actually, let's see. How much is the Silver Saber uh, weighted? Well, it's not horribly much. But I need to be um, not weighted for when I'm using the Lance to kill Iggs off. I guess I can put some of our, our wands away. Alright, let's, uh, what do we want? Oh, wait, I'm carrying around the Wand of Cancellation? Oh, wow, that's not good. Um, I should... I, I don't I don't want that anymore. Too risky. Even if I'm being careful. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty much confident I can handle all the monsters that come my way, so... Okay, now let's go down. Go down? Alright. Well, we won't be wishing for any artifacts. I guess we'll just be using the Magic Mirror of Merlin as our source of magic resistance. Like I said, it is a little dangerous that the Wizard of Yendor can steal it from you, but it will but he'll do it only after he's stolen the amulet, so you do have some advanced warning. Plus if you kill him fast enough, it's not a problem. Okay. There's Teleportitis. I'm just trying to check out all these items, see if there's anything useful. The food probably isn't. We've got more food than we really need anyway. Jelly. Yeah, see, they can engulf you like that. I don't think they're terribly dangerous as long as you keep an eye on your health. They can hit you with a surprising amount of damage sometimes.
Don't need to the speed wand of speed monster anymore, most likely. The Kyrians can speed themselves. No, 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 no. We do not want to lower its tameness. Because we can't get it back up. Oh, by the way, you can chat with your Kirin. Yeah, it'll wicker and whinny, but it doesn't mean anything. I, I, I'm told that it basically, it still goes through sort of the internal clock of figuring out if it's hungry or not, but instead of, uh, like, starving to death, it just resets. You know, I should really be finding out if these are, uh, cursed, and then quaffing them if they are. You know, come to think of it, I think we did have some, uh, Potions of healing we could, uh, quaff. Well, but we don't necessarily know if they're, uh, they're not. Here, let's get the, let's, this will alleviate the weight a little. Make them blessed. There, that helped our, uh, health out a bit. All right. Here we go. This is where Igzoth is. But he won't really wake up till you get kind of close to him. Although that maybe that noise woke him up. He uh, he, they they're always start uh, asleep. Oh man, I'm hearing so many heavy things. Okay. Well, that's not useful. Okay, what's the next one? All right, um... Wow, there's so many, we're so close to our maximum, uh, in, uh, this, that just, uh, you know, picking that up puts us overweight. Might as well eat some stuff. Okay, come on, Exoth, show up so we can kill you. Ugh. Oh, there he is, whoops. Okay, so, we wield uh, the lance. This is how you kill an exile, and it's pretty easy. You joust? You joust? You joust? Oh, let me just uh, use a stethoscope to show how he's stunned. Joust? Joust. Voila! That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Might as well eat his corpse. I think you... What intrinsics can you gain from it? I know he got something once. Uh oh. It's getting hit by his acid. Can it, uh, how much damage can it be taking from that? I can't remember, uh, how, if that can really be a danger to it or not. Oh, let's get the magic mirror of Merlin and the bell of opening. Let's, uh, move that to lower capital M. I'm probably not going to need the usage of a mirror, but it's still something. Okay, I'm just gonna look this up. Exoth, does he give you anything when you eat him? Oh, just fire. We already have fire resistance. Well, that was a waste of time. Whoops. Okay. When you're fighting the ochre jellies, you don't want to be using a lance because it could corrode. Now, before we leave here... By the way, if you apply the Magic Mirror of Merlin, watch this. If it's blessed, which it is, it'll everything it says is true. It's like a fortune cookie. If it's cursed, it'll be false. 
and if it's uncursed, it'll be, uh, uh, it could be either. So this is a way to get a bunch of information about get the game. Like, let's do it again. All right. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of tricky how to do it. Oh, wow, there's an artifact, and there's Teleportitis again. That's really starting to get on my nerves. You know, I don't even care if I'm burdened at this point. I'm just going to grab this stuff. Wow, we already have we have all the candles right now we need. Is that everything? Yeah, I think that was everything that was there. So let's head back up. Oh, yeah, elves. Nice. Come on, come on, give me some sleep resistance, elves. Or you're going to be stingy and not even give me a corpse. Oh well, this is a magic bit of armor. Might not probably pile it into something useful. Yeah, it's like I mentioned, I think, uh, some uh, armor is magical, and that has a much higher chance of becoming magical armor than regular old armor. Uh, I think we'll be uh, done soon. This is a pretty good uh, thing. Oh, yeah, ghosts sometimes will appear here. All right, so now that we've gotten all that stuff, it's uh, probably time to do a bit of identifying, figuring out what stuff is. But we'll be doing that next time. Yeah, that's something to look forward to. Oh man, we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff that's kind of boring next time, eh? But, uh, bef yep. You know, I think before we go, it's time to give our Kirin a bit of a name, though, don't you think? I, uh, let's see, well, what what exactly is a Kirin? Let's see. It's, uh, basically, it, some people think of it kind of as a unicorn, but it isn't really. But it, um, but, because, like, you know, it's, uh, got, like, uh, Horn, it's sort of a bit magical, but it can also fly and uh, stuff. So um, it's not really a unicorn. Well, let's see, got a bit of a horn, can do magic, can fly. There is only one proper name uh, to give such a uh, uh, being. Well, see you next time.